How's it going, gents? Here we are today, checking out DJI Osmo Action 4. Just trying to find something that can compare, compete with the GoPro Hero 11 Black that I normally use in my videos. Um, so DJI have sent me out the new Action 4, brand new camera. Um, it's just coming out, launching very soon. Um, and this is what it looks like. Very similar to a GoPro. Um, instead of having the little flippy out uh, bottom bit, it's got this magnetic one that then clips on and is bloody as strong as it gets, basically. Back screen, front screen, but probably one of the coolest things um, that compares with the DJI is the fact that on a GoPro, your uh, USB port is behind the battery door on the DJI, it's at the back here. So if you're a motor vlogger and you wanna run a microphone, all you gotta do is open that door, that exposes the USB port. Then what I did is I just bought a 3.5 mil to USB-C. This is by, this is just off Amazon, Boya. Good thing is you, with the DJI, you can just run any um, USB to mic input, plug that in there. Just leave the door open, get that USB port open, plug that into your microphone, into your helmet. Bob's your uncle. So you can pretty much, I use my same GoPro mount um, on my helmet. Just plug that in. Don't have to use the $100 GoPro one that you normally have to buy when you're running a microphone in your GoPro. That was like five bucks off Amazon. That plugs into my regular mount. Oh, one other thing I'll show. This is brilliant. If you do a lot of big trips like me, you need a lot of batteries. And DJI make this, it's a battery charger. So it charges all three batteries. And when all the batteries are in there, you can actually use this as a battery bank as well, which is freaking awesome. But let's get out on the bike, see what this DJI Action 4 Osmo camera looks like on my helmet, riding the bike. All right, gents, on the WR, on Supermoto wheels. This is the GoPro Hero 11 Black uh, that I've been using for quite some time. Uh, I'll give you a feel of what this is like before I and then we'll switch magically to the um we're at Macca's by the way this is my home where I live my homeland of McDonald's um so we'll give you a feel of what kind of settings that I use in my GoPro and what I look for in an action camera so as you'll know I've been running GoPro for a very very long time I use GoPro for 90% of my YouTube videos uh with a GoPro so I, yeah, it's 400 plus videos, almost primarily filmed on a GoPro. Um, I did start with the Drift HD, quickly moved to a GoPro. I've tried like the Sony, I don't like it, yeah, it's a barrel style, it's on the side. I only want a traditional action camera like this GoPro. And I want it as wide as possible. I always go for a wide as possible uh, angle. I want to see as much as the bike, as much as my hands are what is happening, peripherals and stuff. Um, so I always pick uh, the widest angle and nothing competes uh, with a GoPro SuperView until DJI now, I believe it's wider than SuperView, which is crazy because SuperView is super wide. Um, but we're gonna switch, see if it's wider than the GoPro. Um, but it's part of the reason I still run with, uh, I think with the GoPro 11, I can do SuperView 4K but GoPro hates 4K, always overheats, SD cards corrupt, it's a nightmare, I hate GoPros, I hate GoPros for one, because they're friggin' unreliable, and two, I just can't film 4K, I, it's till this day, I've always filmed 1080p, 60 frames, on my last big trip, the Great Northern Adventure, um, was the one trip that I was actually going to do in 4K, but I literally just had so many issues with trying to film 4K with, um, I'd just lose files and the GoPro would just absolutely melt batteries and stuff, so it was pointless. Um, but with the DJI, I will be trying 4K, but for today's test, 60 FPS, 1080, wide as possible. This is a GoPro here at 11. We're about to switch to the DJI Osmo 4 action now. All right, here we are, DJI Osmo action 4. How does she look? I uh, got her rolling in 1080p, I'm pretty sure I got it as wide as possible. Um, I have to make sure that it's as wide as possible. Uh, I can see I've got a little screen on. Um, the screen isn't turning off, but I think the battery life's pretty good on these brand new cameras. So 
I'll just leave the screen on. One problem is it's got a microphone symbol, which um, is fantastic. How many times have like you not plugged in your microphone or some shit, or the microphone gets a little unplugged or gets, you know, we're, I'm a dirt bike rider, so it gets snagged on trees and you rip your mic out and you realize you're not getting any audio, but there's no way to know. This has got a little mic symbol, but it is going red right now, which is showing me like I can hear myself, talk, I can see myself talking in the mic symbol, but it's red. So I hope it's not peaking the audio. Um, I am recording this in the camera, which is another good thing. GoPro, if you want to record in the camera, which is a big thing, uh, I have to be able to, you know, output a mic to 3.5 to go into my helmet. Um, it's very important. Uh, if the camera can't do that, it's useless to me as, a, as someone who only uses the GoPro connected to a helmet. Um, so the DJI was my action four was easy. I just bought a USB-C to 3.5 mil adapter uh, and it worked straight away. I, I don't know, this is the first time testing it on a motorbike. I tested it just on my desk and it worked all right. But hopefully the audio is good, which is fine. Great, because it was like five bucks, man. Whereas if you've got a GoPro, you know you have to buy the actual GoPro, stupid one, and it's like a hundred bucks. And sometimes impossible to find. But yeah, how does she look? Hopefully good, I'm excited. Um, we will switch back to the GoPro just to make sure that you get a feel for the different two cameras. Um, but I like, I really like how the microphone goes into this camera. Um, so with the GoPro, to get to the USB port, the USB port was where the battery is, um, which is terrible because that means you have to have the entire GoPro open to be able to put a microphone into it, um, which then means you've got to either drill out the door or get another door. So I used to buy a separate door. But then if you wanted your GoPro to be actually waterproof, you had to carry around the second freaking door, which is really annoying. This, it's got a separate side where the, go where the thing comes. So you just open it. And then if you want to use a GoPro in the water, you just close it. It's fantastic. But we'll switch back to the GoPro for a couple minutes. Switching back to GoPro now. All right, and we're back on the GoPro Hero 11. Uh, so this will be a great comparison. How did the DJI Osmo Action 4 go? I, I literally haven't seen it yet. Um, I'm filming the GoPro part of it, so I hope it's good. I have no idea what it looks like. Uh, I'm gonna redo this loop with the, the DJI. Um, but I hope it's wide. I hope it looks as crispy. Um, I, I will admit, no problems with how GoPro footage looks. I think it looks fantastic. Um, but the biggest, as anyone who's owned a GoPro before, they're a nightmare. Like, uh, reliability issues, um, how much battery they just, they, they die at 30% battery. You just can't film 4K. You can use, a, you can use a GoPro filming in 4K as a hand warmer, but it's not very good to film with. I, I don't know why I've had so many friggin' issues with trying to film 4K. I've literally just given up. But yeah, we'll switch back to the DJI. Just give you a back, a feel of GoPro's top dog. Uh, see how this compares. 1080p, 60 frames a second, super view, ultra wide point of view. Um, I'm also going, I'm heading to uh, Europe in a week. I'm so super excited. I've always had this dream of riding a, a, a BMW GS adventure with my wife in Europe from Germany, go to Germany, rent a GS from where they come from and ride around Germany, uh, ride around Europe with my wife, go through Austria and Switzerland and all amazing shit. Um, and I'm doing it, finally. Um, super excited. So I'll be taking the DJI uh, Osmo Action and I'll be getting some awesome Switzerlandy motorcycle shots. It's gonna be magical. So that'll be the real test in Europe. This is just the first preview. There's also a little bit of a dirt road up here, so we'll test it in the dirt. Get the supermoto in a bit of dirt. Horrible. It sounded really bad. Um, did some quick Googling and found that uh, per default, the DJI action cameras have a lot of gain on the microphone, uh, which I mean, it's probably good for you know, normal people doing activities, but for loud motorcycles, you don't want lots of gain. I'm just trying to see if I can clip it. So I'm sorry, I'm yelling. Um, I mean, that's not clipping it. So hopefully that's a lot better. It sounded terrible before, um, but that is not a representation. If you buy GoPro Action 4 Osmo, 
go to pro settings, then you can click the microphone and then go to the gain. I've done, I think, negative 10 or something. I really dialed it down. WR's pretty loud, so hopefully that's better. I can see the mic isn't peaking. It's getting close, but it's not going red. I love the mic symbol on it. Wow, good freaking addition. But uh, let's get back to it. I might jump back a bit because this is all out of whack now. WR's going good, by the way. Just to interject here on my action camera review video. It's been fun. I've been riding on sumo wheels because I got the KDM 500 now. I ride that everywhere when I actually want to go off road. So I've had the WR just in soup moto for the last freaking year, pretty much. Just zooming around. It's such a fun. I've had these soup moto wheels for nearly 10 years. Same tires, Pirelli Scorpion tires. They're made for a much bigger bike. They come they come standard on a multi strata, so they haven't worn at all in 10 years on this bike. And they're freaking great. I mean, they're probably freaking useless now, but. I don't know, man. It's still going strong. All right, dirt road. We're going to switch back to the DGI Osmo Action 4. Right when I hit dirt. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, into the dust. Let's go. We're on supermoto wheels, so it won't be, might be a little slippy slidey, but should be fine. WR, even on supermoto wheels, very capable little dirt bike. back down but yeah all right i think we got the audio i hope we got the auto sorted on it that could have been a game changer if there was no way to adjust that gain and it was just blowing out because i will never there's a lot of people who were like oh you can run a volume attenuator or record in a, a separate audio rec no i will record on the camera or freaking not at all man uh, but how does it look has the green pop with the freaking blue sky bit of a day for it middle of freaking winter in australia here and it is beautiful it is 18 degrees, sunny. What a day just to be out in the humble WR, even on supermoto wheels out in the dirt, man. It's uh, such a good bike. This review, first review, is gonna be more from a moto vlogger's uh, perspective. How does it work on a, on a, on a helmet? Uh, you know, can you put a microphone in it? These are important things that moto vloggers look for when you're uh, looking at an action camera. Um, how wide is the angle? Um, I will probably do a little bit of a experimenting with some stabilization. There are some people who complain about my videos because I'm very shaky and stuff and it makes them sick. Uh, I do that to try and keep the boomers away. No, I'm joking. But um, uh, I will experiment with some stabilization because I know my shit is uh, very shaky a lot. Oh, that's what the, the visor down. See how that audio sounds like because it changes the audio quite a bit when I put my visor down. Um, it's a very windy day, so there might be a bit of wind coming through. Whilst I go to Europe, which is very soon in one week, then I'll test it more as an action camera, a bit of 4K, some slow mo, some uh, in the water kind of stuff. Get some zoom in shots of some cows in Switzerland or something. Right, I'm going to ride back here and we'll set up on these cars, uh, the, those burnt out cars. We'll get some 4K, we'll show you what 4K looks like quickly just get a feel for what it could do. Battery life is tremendous on this thing. I mean, it's been on for like half an hour and it's saying 80% next to me, so. Um, I mean, you can't get worse than a freaking GoPro's battery life. They're not good, the old GoPro. Good for an hour or so, but not more than that. You gotta, when I do my trips, I take like eight GoPro batteries with me, like literally. And I'm just constantly, they're in the tank bag, constantly charging at all times. Um, and just hot swapping them. Every time you swap, Whack another GoPro battery, put it back on charge. That's how I do it, man. All right, let's get up to these burnt out cars. Let's check out some 4K. All right, and this is GoPro 4K, 60 frames. How does she look? Just a quick little vid. How does she look? There's no doubt that the GoPro is very beautiful and crispy, especially looks good in 4K. Uh, I would love to always make every video 4K on my GoPro, but I just have so many issues with SD cards and batteries I never do. Um, but that's what 4K on the GoPro looks like. You can compare that to the DJI Osmo Action 4. How does it look? Glistening, sharp, picture perfect. Keen to actually try out uh, 4K, see if it can be done on uh, for motor vlogging. I've literally almost never done 4K, so 
how does she look good colors nice garbage trucks in the tip let's get back on the bike continue the review what else can we talk about it we can talk about the fact that my radiator is about to fall off i don't think i put the bottom bolt on it i'm in the process of kind of rebuilding my wr um, I've literally I just changed the oil since I got back from well actually no that's a lie I uh, re completely redid the subframe on I snapped the subframe on my um, Great Northern trip so I redid the subframe but nothing else really I just changed the oil WR's got some K's on it now I want to kind of redo everything look at my grips they are completely I've had these grips for like freaking ages man um, I like them because they're thick oxygen heated grips but no grip to them anymore, they're slippery. I'm gonna redo the whole thing. New bars, new bark buses, new grips. Everything. The WI just doesn't seem to want to die, so we'll just keep freaking fixing her up, man. Everything else is a little worn out and a little hanky janky, but the engine is solid. What a nice winter's day to test out a new camera, man. What a beautiful day. Let's quickly switch back to the GoPro. One last look at the GoPro, and then we'll finish off with the DJI. Let me know how it looks. Is it good? Can it compare? It doesn't even need to beat the GoPro. We all know that GoPros look amazing. No one denies that. But if it can look as good as a GoPro and not have all the annoying, freaking annoying shit that happens with GoPros, batteries dying, freaking SD cards failing, locking up all the time. If it can just do that, I'm gonna miss this light. Frick. Um, Mate, we'll all be happy. All right, back to the GoPro for one last little comparison. GoPro Hero 11 Black. What does she look like? This is it for the GoPro Hero 11. Could be the last time you see it. We'll see. Hopefully the DJI is good. Otherwise, say goodbye to GoPro on my YouTube channel. All right. I might need to dig around with this DJI Osmos mic gain. At least you can... It has one, so you can adjust it. At least it's got settings. There's a lot of cameras that don't. Um, but we'll, we'll have to dig around with that a bit. But first initial test, how's it look? Let me know. I'm going to Europe. See you later. Bye Australia. Cold ass Australia. I have my hot girl Euro summer with my wife. It's gonna be great. Let's go. Peace.